Stevens Point, a quaint city in central Wisconsin, has a unique tie-in with the history of fly fishing for the United States. Stevens Point was once known as the fly tackle capital of the world. Regionally, I mean, the climate is different. The, um, the species of fish are going to be different that, that you'll have, but one of the cool things that has always um, kind of been in, in my mind is the fact that we have so many public fishing spots um, that it's no wonder that we at one time were probably the fly fishing capital of the world, um, at least the United States. Uh, and, and people, I think, have lost touch with a little bit of that history. But Stevens Point has not maintained this title. Why, in the fast-paced 21st century, has this changed? What sets fly fishing apart from a casting lure is that the fly that the angler is using is crafted to take on the shape of the food that the fish eats. This also means a different technique. I can't speak of, of what it is like for many people today, uh, but it's much more of a learned. Anybody can go out with a, a spinning rod and, and fish. And they've got it down pat, you know, to make it very easy for kids or anybody else. Uh, fly fishing is more, much more of an art. You have to be able to get a long line laid out on the water uh, so that it goes in the right spot, and like you would in spinning, but uh, it's, the casting is much more involved. It is a real learned art. With a fly rod, you're really trying to, I guess, it's more of a finesse game. And you're trying to usually, like I usually fish, fish with dry flies. And so you're trying to put the fly where you believe like a fish is gonna be at. And so a fish is looking up at the fly and it's gonna come and surface and catch that fly. Spin fishing, I guess, is less, I guess, finesse, I would say. And there's more of an art to fly fishing, um, usually, you, wade into the water, get out into nature, more I would say that maybe we'll spin casting. In the earliest days of fly fishing in the United States, anglers had to get their flies from Great Britain and Europe, until a young woman from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, started making flies in the kitchen of her parents' home. Carrie Frost began fishing with her father at a young age and quickly became an expert caster. The pair became concerned that because trout flies were not manufactured in the United States, they did not look like local prey. Carrie soon found herself experimenting with various materials obtained from items found in the natural habitat of Wisconsin to make her flies. When local fishermen saw the success Carrie and her father had with their homemade flies, they asked to purchase some. In 1896, her small and understated operation evolved into the C.J. Frost Fishing Tackle Manufacturing Company, eventually putting Stevens Point, Wisconsin on the map as the fly tackle capital of the world. Carey sold the business in 1920. It was later purchased by Oscar Weber and soon became the Weber Lifelike Fly Company. Maurice Rice is a local attorney with a special relation with the Weber Company. He is the grandson of Oscar Weber. You know, uh, he was a, a larger-than-life person. Uh, uh, he had this building out in the, out in the woods and the, the, the company owned, and then later he sold it to a bunch of Stevens Point guys uh, who still have the club out there. Uh, and uh, he was part of the club, of course. So, uh, that's the story I remember. Uh, the only place that he wasn't larger than life potentially was in the house uh, where grandma ruled. <laughs> he acquired the frost business and then started and uh, Stevens Point ultimately became the uh, American center of fly fishing uh, equipment uh, across the country. They had a huge business, they had hundreds of ladies that were employed 
that were not in the factory, and there was a lot of them in the factory as well. So it was huge. They were all around town tying these flies. Ironically, the Great Depression showed the height of the fly fishing industry in Wisconsin. Beginning in 1941, the Worth Company has been the number one source of fishing lure components and key rings for manufacturers for over 70 years. They are on the fourth generation of ownership in their family. Bob Worth ran the Worth Company from 1956 to 1986. When I was like 10 years old, that is when the company be became the Worth Company after having been the Olson Bait Company purchased by my dad at a public auction in 1940. It was originally in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and he moved it down here. And uh, I started out sweeping floors uh, for the fly tires up on the second floor. We had a uh, floor full of fly tires up there at one time. And uh, I worked there all through my school years, part-time, after school, weekends, that sort of stuff. Uh, and then I took over, well, my father and I had a rather unique relationship. It was one of these, you're fired, you can't fire me, I quit, that sort of thing. I came and went, went and came back many times before he and I finally uh, uh, decided that, that, my, that I would take over the company, which I did in uh, 1946 when he died. No, 56, excuse me. Following World War II, the fly fishing market became much more intense and competitive. Competition from overseas, most notably Japan, were able to mass produce flies at a cost that put considerable pressure upon their American counterparts. Uh, the Japanese started producing all these the fly fishing kind of equipment in mass market and uh, the business went down considerably, but luckily Oscar got out of the business before that happened. Sadly, the industry began to change, and not for the better. Fly fishing began to seemingly fade into the background of people's lives. The rise of modernization and globalization certainly played a part in this, when quaint, quiet Stevens Point industries had to compete with a global market. After 89 years, on March 29, 1985, Weber Tackle Company closed their doors permanently. With the changing times, the Worth Company had to change their methods to stay alive in the modern age. The company decided to switch to general lure and split key rings instead of fly lures. We uh, at one time had 160 girls just tying flies, but we haven't tied a fly now for going on 60 years. It's The industry has disappeared from Stevens Point. Although at one time we were the fly tying capital of the world. Anyway, there was flies and the uh, leaders and snell hooks, what they called terminal tackle. Everything that went on at the end of the line or on to the end. We didn't make any reels, we didn't make any rods or any of that sort of stuff. So this begs the question, is fly fishing dead in Stevens Point? Fly fishing, despite popular misconceptions, is still alive and well in the community. I would say, I would have to beg to differ. Um, again, you know, we, we get asked all the time why we decided to do the fly fishing. Um, and again, I always use my lineage of when I started as a kid for the main reason. However, uh, we wanted to be very niche and we knew that there are people, again, you know, ladies and gentlemen that are into the sport of fly fishing. Not only in Stevens Point is there a sustainable amount of these individuals that like to do fly fishing that are interested in fly fishing, but now we have seen that there are people that are coming from outside the area specifically to fish the species of fish that we provide here in Stevens Point to include the musky, musky smallmouth bass and the sustainable shallow streams that we have in Central Wisconsin. Uh, they're wrong, and, and there's, I mean, <laughs> there's not much else to say. I would explain to them, you know, uh, the, the fly fishing opportunities. Like I said, just um, 
oh, probably eight years ago, uh, maybe a little less, we, in Stevens Point, well, Central Wisconsin, had the fly fishing muskie record, the line class muskie record. That's still going on. You know, it's, so it, the, the fly fishing opportunities here haven't changed. As a matter of fact, we, um, I'm a member of a conservation club, the Isaac Walton League of America, and every spring we do habitat restoration. So we take the Christmas trees and we put them in a pile uh, once Christmas is over, and we take those trees, bundle them together, and restore trout habitat um, on different streams every year. The fly fishing opportunities are very widespread here in central Wisconsin, not to mention the, uh, the ability to get your, your gear here locally. Like I said, the Worth Company is still making fishing components, and we just had Fall Line Outfitters open up, which is uh, almost exclusively a fly fishing shop. So it's, it's, uh, it's very much alive and well. I retired from the military in 2000, uh, 2019, this year, um, and we brought the passion of fly fishing to Stevens Point in central Wisconsin since there's nothing in the area that's like it. Uh, and that is due in part to my passion of fly fishing that I started when I was uh, and got into as a, as a kid. We have a lot of young anglers that are coming in here that are uh, asking questions, that are interested in what is fly fishing all about. Um, not only the fishing rods and the reels and you know that basic setup, but then also the equipment, uh, the bags, the apparel. Um, I think that the fly fishing companies have done a great job of marketing to the younger, younger anglers, the younger people um, with very stylish gear, uh, very stylish apparel. Um, a lot of times there'll be um, people that will just want to wear the, uh, the apparel um, more as a fashion statement than to actually go out and use it for fly fishing because they have done such a great job of kind of bringing the, the sport back, back in the light. Through the years, the pastime remains as vital as ever. Though times may have changed, fly fishing is still strong in the community and throughout the United States. My favorite memory would be out uh, in Wapaka Lakes uh, out there, uh, fly fishing, and Grandpa kind of watching me from the <laughs> The sidelines telling me my technique was not all, was not all that hot. Uh, and, uh... Tomorrow River after my day is hard Standing in that fishing hole to me is living large You might say that I'm the world's richest man by far Cause the spirit talks to me and he's in my heart Oh standing in moving water where I can breathe and feel Contemplate the problems of my life Hoping to catch some trout on for feathers and steel. Hey, hey, hey. Slowing down seems to be a thing of the past. But when I'm fishing with my friends, time goes too fast. Having fun in the moment and making memories and laughs. Now before we leave that river, I think I'll take another cast. 